Hi cuties, so today we're going to do some errands while we play the game Speed Laundry. How do you play the game Speed Laundry? Well, the trick is I'm going to put my coins in the dryer here and see if I can get all my errands done before the load is finished. So let's play Speed Laundry. accidentally put one too many coins in the laundry. Oops. First we check the mail. I have a bill. And yes, we're doing my errands at night because I was busy doing other stuff today, like filming for Project for Awesome. No, it wasn't. I was just watching YouTube videos. But I did get my Project for Awesome stuff prepared. I'm more prepared now, okay? It counts as doing something. What is this? What is this? No. None of that, thank you. None of that. First errand is the recycle shop. Actually, it wasn't the first errand was go get money, but I forgot to film getting money. Not that getting money is all that interesting. We're gonna look for a few things here. I need a new DVD player because mine is broken. It's always very dangerous for me to come to secondhand stores. What do you guys think? Yes? Mm-hmm. It's snowing! Stop it! Next, Aaron Daiso. Can always get a Santa costume. The lights on my little Christmas tree have already gone out. I had to get new ones. I think I managed to find enough containers for stuff because I need to get organized. My house is a mess. Third, Aaron Craft Heart Tokai. We are here to look at some fabric because I bought patterns and I make my own clothes now. So, and there's a sale. And there's a sale. Basket full of fabric. So much fabric. It's all on sale. I have my bag of fabric. Oh, the stuff I'm going to make. I don't know what I'm going to make. But now it's off to our last errand, which is just groceries. So I'll probably see you guys back in the laundry room. You win this time, laundry. So we're going to do a little bit of talky talk talk while I fold my laundry. So recently it was brought to my attention by my friend Adrian. Hi Adrian, shout out to you. I've never actually met Adrian, only via Skype. But Adrian lurks around on the Jet forums and told me that I was mentioned. The forum was about being overweight and in Japan, so we're gonna talk about that. In the forum, the questions were posed if being overweight affects your chances of getting into JET program. And the answer to that is no. However, being overweight does affect how you will be able to handle life here in Japan. It was mentioned on the forums that I project myself as a very confident person and very bright and positive, and that's true some of the time, but I, like any other human being, have feelings and can easily be brought down by the words of others when commenting on my side. So I just want to make it clear that no one is immune to the depression that comes along with being overweight. I mean, I used to really struggle with my weight, and I occasionally still do. Japan is notoriously a country where being fat is very, very bad. So there are certain types of overweight people that can handle being here, and the type you have to be is the one who can take a hit from curious Japanese children. I can't tell you the number of times that I've walked into a store and a small child has shouted, Debu Debu, which means fatty fatty, basically. You have to be able to let those things go. And this goes for any foreigner, especially us foreigners who don't look Asian, I guess. The Asian foreigners, you can kind of blend in a little bit. I know that sounds a little bit racist, but you can't. Because people will stare at you for anything. People stare at me all the time, and in my brain I'm going, are they staring at me because I'm foreign? Are they staring at me because I'm fat? Are they staring at me because I'm foreign and fat? Or maybe they're staring at me because I'm holding a camera up to my face in the middle of a grocery store. But when you're considering coming over here for an extended period of time, you have to be able to shake all those things off and get over it because if you hang on to them, you're gonna have a really bad time. These are my fuck monkey pajamas. <laughs> I just wanna say to the person who was on the jet forum that was saying really nice things about me. I can't remember your username right now. I think it's light something. I forget, but I'm putting your username right here, and this is a shout out to you. You are awesome. Don't let anyone ever tell you what to do or how you should look because that's up to you. I have 
had plenty of haters on YouTube tell me how ugly and fat I am and I just like to ignore them because, you know, they're probably 12 year old. And at first I really struggled with all of the haters. It was really difficult for me to continue doing YouTube, but then I figured, you know what? Screw it. It's my channel. I do what I want. I have a lot of socks right there. The question is, do they all have pairs? But just to all the large people coming into Japan, I'm not going to say that you will be fine here because that is completely up to you. If you think you can handle the constant staring, the occasional small child calling out about how fat you are, and your students wanting to know your weight, then yes, come. But if you don't think you can handle that, and granted, it doesn't happen every single day. I've had every single one of those experiences, but not all at once and not every day. They happen occasionally. But if you know you can handle that kind of stuff, you can come to Japan. And for those of you worried about the interview, they are not going to ask you about your weight. That is completely unprofessional and irrelevant. They might ask you if you're able to walk up lots and lots of flights of stairs. They ask me that because I'm an asthmatic. It's another thing, there are no elevators in your schools most likely unless they have more than I think four floors. But very rarely does a school have an elevator slash let you use it unless you have a broken leg. I'm a towel. My, my thoughts were kind of sporadic on this one because I was multitasking with this laundry business. I hope I made my point clear. I want to make my last point known that I don't condone being a fat person. I don't think anyone should aspire to be fat because yes, it's unhealthy. I think I'm unhealthy, which is why I'm trying to change my diet, change how I go through the day so that I'm getting better exercise. I'm trying to change my lifestyle so that I can lose weight because I don't like being fat, no one really does, but you can like who you are, and that shouldn't change no matter your appearance. Just be who you want to be and stay true to yourself. It's so cliche, but it's true. Being here in Japan with the way that I look has been a huge test for my beliefs and for who I think I should be. And that's what Japan is gonna be for you if you do decide to come and if you do get on the program. So before you come to Japan, know who you are. And if you don't know who you are, know that you're trying to find yourself through life here. But as long as you have a positive attitude, good can only come from it. Also, I wanna make it known that if you are suffering with any kind of depression about the way you look, you can always talk to me. You can talk to me on the Noble Spiel of Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. Um, or you can private message me here on YouTube. I would be happy to Google chat or Skype call you if you need someone to talk to about being overweight and hating who you are. Because I know a lot about hating who you are. And if you don't want to talk to me, please talk to someone about it. Don't let it bottle up because it will just explode. And I used to do that a lot and it's never good and you can end up losing people. And my laundry is now folded except for my massive sock pile here. But like I said, if you have questions or comments, you can put those down below or catch me on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and VU. Don't forget to join Project for Awesome and also to send me your submissions of what you would like to learn in Japanese and what advice you would like for the Q-tips video. I will see you all on Thursday, cuties. Bye. Drop my camera. Almost. That's why it's tied around my wrist.